every once in a while, I get an email which I think is phenomenal. This one is amazing because this person is doing everything you are supposed to do in order to succeed in life. They're doing everything. It's textbook stuff. Everything is perfect. She's doing everything right, but things aren't working out. And I think that's just part of life, unfortunately. Sometimes we do everything we're supposed to do. We have plans, we have goals, we work hard, and we don't succeed. However, I do have some advice for this person, which I think will help. So if you're watching this video and you're struggling in your life, in school, in math, whatever, I think this might help you. Also, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment because you can help her and you can help other people who are watching this video. Her name I cannot reveal because she specifically asked uh, me not to reveal her name because she has friends who are subscribers. The subject is learning math and working at the same time. Dear Math Sorcerer, please don't share my name because I don't know if some of my friends are following you and I'm a girl with a pretty distinct name. I have been following you for a couple of months already and let me tell you that your content is a lifesaver when going through tough times. I work full time and study in university computer science. The degree is really demanding as expected and I'm giving my best to study and learn something. Study martial arts because it keeps me sane and work. As a result of that, I didn't manage to study for all my exams and I'll have to take them for a third time. Am I doing the right thing to do all of these things and still trying to learn everything? I find the math and university really interesting and I'm not ready to give up just to pass the class or even worse, drop out. I'm trying to organize my time and recently I've managed to make a schedule for my day and apply some of your advice. For example, solving at least one math problem a day. I bought some of the books you recommended in your videos for the subjects I need and I started reading them. I'm still on the easier exercises, so there's nothing I can say about it yet. Am I doing something wrong? I want to pass all my exams this year and not study at the last possible moment. Can I do something better? I cannot leave work because I have to support my family. A suggestion. I would be very happy if you can organize something like a self-improvement math challenge where everyone helps each other to get better and achieve their goals. All the best and keep your inspirational work. And then she signs her name, which I almost said, so I almost messed up, so I'm not going to say her name. So I have so many things to say to this email. First, let me just say thank you for sending this message. As you all can see, she is doing everything right. But there is something here that I have seen. You know, I, I taught for many years and this person, she sounds like the perfect student, right? She's, she's going to school. She's working hard. She has a job. She's training her mind. She's training her body because she does martial arts but she's still having a hard time. And I think what's happening is she just has too much on your on her plate. So you have too much on your plate. That is my honest advice. I think you're doing too much. Let me just use myself as an example here. I was able to finish school. I'm a person of average intelligence, but I was not doing all of the things you were doing, right? I basically just went to school and I did exercise. I did do that. So I didn't work though, and I know you have to work. So I think what, what's going to have to happen is you might have to make some sacrifices and give up some of those other things that you're doing in your life. Your life sounds really good and, and balanced. You're doing all of the right things, right? You're, you're working, you're, you're doing martial arts, you're studying, but something needs to give way. Obviously, you can't quit work, as you mentioned, because you have to support your family. So one suggestion, and this might not help you this semester, but it might help you next semester, and this will depend on your financial situation, is to cut back, right? Cut back a little bit. Try not to take so many classes. You didn't say how many classes you were taking, but I'm imagining that you might have a full schedule. If you are, I really think it's important to cut back. One of the things I noticed as a teacher right away, right when I started teaching, was that people seem to take on a lot. They, they do a lot. Students will take three or four classes and they'll work. And somehow this became the norm. Somehow this is normal. I don't think it is. 
I don't think it's normal. I don't think it's normal for a human being to work full time and take three and four classes. I think that's too much. It doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter how smart you are. I think it's too much. And as a person who really believes that, you know, with hard work, you can do everything, when you're trying to learn material and a lot of your time is spent working at some other job that takes your time that you have to do, it's just not going to work because you have to put in the time to learn. Learning takes time. It just takes time. When I started college, I was fortunate enough to be able to quit my job and I took out student loans and I racked up a bunch of debt and I paid it off, thankfully, but that's how I was able to make it. So I'm not saying you should do that. So an alternative to that would be maybe cut back on some of your classes. I don't think you should give up your martial arts. I think you should continue the physical fitness aspect of your life. I think that's super important. One of the things that happens to people when they go to graduate school a lot of times or when they study something hard like math or computer science like you is that they tend to get out of shape because you have to hyper focus on this stuff, right? It's hard to learn computer science. It's hard to learn mathematics. It takes a lot of time. And so what happens is you have to basically break your balanced life and become unbalanced for a little while and, and just hyper focus on that. And I think it's what you're going to have to do, but I would not give up the martial arts. I would say cut back on your classes if you can, take less classes and, and see if that will help you. I mean, if you just take one class or two classes a semester, I think that's going to help. The big downside to that is that you might feel like it's going to take you forever to finish your degree. And you'll probably have this feeling where like, oh, I'm getting old and this and that. No, no, no. I don't know how old you are because you didn't say it, but it's never too late. It's better to take your time and do well in your classes than to rush through it. Another alternative, which I don't know if it's possible for you, is to try to just take a few harder classes every semester. This is what I did even when I wasn't working. I was never able to take more than three serious classes. I would usually take three classes and some type of fluff class. So in your case, maybe just take one hard class and then an easier class if you can. But certainly cut back on some of the things you're doing. Don't give up martial arts. Don't give up your job, obviously, unless like you have some other way of supporting your family. Um, but maybe just cut back on how much you're trying to learn uh, because it sounds like your time is, is very limited. I mean, just the fact that, that you have a family, I mean, just that fact alone means that, that that takes some of your time too, right? You have to have some time for your family. You have to have some time for martial arts. You have to have time for your job and you have to have time for your studies. That's a lot. That's a lot. And again, I don't think, I don't think it's normal. And I think society views it that way where, you know, you've got students who take three, four, five, six classes and they're working. I think that's too much. I don't think that's right. I, I just, it's just wrong. You know, in my view, in a perfect world, students would be able to go to college, take three or four classes and not have to work. I mean, I wish it could be that way. I wish it could, but unfortunately it's not. So, but yeah, it's, it's too much. I think it's too much. And I think that you're doing everything right. You've got the discipline. So you just need to cut back on the number of classes. And I think that's a solution. If anyone else has advice for this person, because I can't reveal her name, <laughs> so please leave a comment. I, I just think her email was so good because this is a great example of someone who is doing everything, right? She's working super, super hard. She's doing everything right. She's doing one math problem a day. She has a job. She has a family and she's still struggling. And I think that it's a symptom of society, right? You just have to cut back somewhere. And in this case, I feel like cutting back on the number of classes might be the best approach. If you have any advice for this person with the mystery name, which is fun, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting subscribe if you want to. And if you want to learn math, I do have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on Udemy, but, but please go through my website, use the links there. Also, I think that I'm pretty sure you get the lowest price if you go through my website. I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure because I lowered the prices to the minimum. So yeah. Anyways, until next time, good luck. And hopefully this video has helped someone. Hopefully it's helped this person because it's such a good email. It's a really good email. Good luck. Keep doing math.